Hey, uh, I wanted to add a couple more things onto my updates for today, I guess. Um, that I didn't get to mention because my last video ran for ten minutes. Um, I have a couple social things that I want to talk about, like transition wise. Like, um, I think I've mentioned before that my friends and family are not very supportive. Like, they're all kind of talking about how broken I am and don't see me as a guy and shit like that. Um, I have been making a little tiny, tiny bit of progress with that. Um, my best friend Tara has told me that she's really excited for me to get on hormones, which is awesome. And she says that as soon as my voice starts to deepen and she starts to see some of the changes in me, that she's definitely going to have an easier time telling the boyfriend um, and referring to me as male, which is awesome. Um, and I really appreciate that from her. Um, my other best friend, Allie, not so much. Um, she still, every once in a while, says, well, I can see how, looking at you, you'd want to, you'd be a guy, and how you present yourself, you'd want to be a guy, and, but after knowing you, you're just so girly, and it's like, seriously, the couple things that I have in my life that's girly, like, if I like cats, or some of the music that I like, um, and that I actually treat women well, and, and just, there, there, there's a bunch of little things in my life that I'm not willing to give up just because I'm male, and she finds me incredibly girly because of that. Oh, and uh, probably the biggest thing is that, like, if somebody tickles me, I squeak. Um, I can't help that. <laughs> um, it's going away a little bit by the time, but, um, I really, I really can't help um, that I squeak when I'm tickled. It's like her, uh, it's a reaction. I can't help doing that. Uh, if I could stop it, I probably would. Um, and with my mom, um, she only calls me Wolfie when she wants something out of me. <laughs> Which kind of sucks. Um, and now that we're starting to work together, kind of, sort of, like, she has her own little side business where she cleans for rich people, um, and I've been brought on a couple times to her clients, and she introduces me as her daughter, and she says, well, I call her, um, says my birth name, but she likes to be called Wolfie. And just the way she says it, it's kind of... The way she says it just implies, like, that I'm weird and I'm going through a phase and that I want to be called this weird nickname or something. She never says that my name is Wolfgang. She doesn't even say Wolfgang. She just says Wolfie. Um, which, I mean, I prefer to be called Wolfie um, by most people. Um, but when it's professional... I prefer Wolfgang, or when it's something serious, I prefer Wolf Wolfgang. Um, so, yeah, um, I don't like the way she says it. I mean, she's all like, well, at least I'm acknowledging it. I could just say, well, this is my daughter, and not even say anything. Which, I mean, I guess in her eyes that's helping, but she's still call calling me by my birth name, which I fucking hate. Uh, and I don't want anyone to know that name. Ever. I mean, there, there's probably a few of my videos where my friends or my mom has called me by my birth name and I forgot to bleep it out or something. Um, and it's actually really easy to find my birth name um, in a lot of things that I have online, which I should probably do something about. Um, but I just... I, I don't know, I mean, there's a little bit of good stuff socially, and there's a little bit of bad stuff socially. Um, I found out that some of the girls in my building found out what my birth name was, and they never told me about it um, until recently, and 
definitely never got to fire that puny. Which, I mean, I get, but that's kind of cool in a way. And kind of sucky in a way, because I didn't want anybody in this building to know what Pepper's name was. Um, and it really pisses me off that somebody would have told him. Um, but it is also really cool that they've never once slipped up. And they've never once, like, pulled me aside or called me by that name or accidentally called me by that name out in public or anything. They just always see me as Wolfgang and they even say, well, you were introduced to us as Wolfgang and we know you as Wolfgang and we're going to call you Wolfgang, which is awesome. So props to them for that. I didn't think they'd be cool about that. Passing a little bit more in public, um, probably because of the sideburns and a little bit of a mustache I got, um, which is pretty cool, um, but I'm still not passing nearly as much as I would like. It seems like ever since that I came to Daybreak, I've passed less than usual, or maybe I'm just like making it up in my, mo my mind. There was something else I wanted to talk about. Oh, something that I noticed the other day, which was absolutely awesome, but I forgot to mention in my first video. I can't get my voice as high as I used to. Um, like, I can, well, like, um, I was in the car with my friend Allie, and Evanescence came on, and I made a comment about how I could get my voice as high as Amy Lee. It's true. I s still can, but it's like a mega, mega stretch. Like, I used to be able to pull it off easy, and when I was singing, because she wanted me to show her that I could do it, and she got a real kick out of it, um, I did it, but it was like a real, real strain to get my voice that high. Um, and I sing high and low all the fucking time, but I never sing that high. Um, and when I sung that high, it was a real, real strain, and it used to be really, really easy for me to do that, which just shows that my voice is naturally getting deeper, and I'm losing some of my range, which is awesome. <laughs> and on one point, I on one hand, I, it was kind of cool that I could get my voice in that big of a range, but I'd much rather have a deeper range than a higher range. And I even tested it out, and the only thing that I was worried about, about my voice getting lower, um, was that the possibility that I wouldn't be able to meow anymore, um, which I'm not going to show you, um, because I don't want to. <laughs> but I, I can make a very, very convincing meow of, um, all age ranges of cats, and I've actually fooled other cats with it. I don't want to show you. <laughs> um, which is another one of the things that Ellie says that I'm girly and cool. Um, I don't know. Um, most girls that I know absolutely love that I can make cat sounds, so I have that going for me. Anyway, <laughs> off of that. Um, so my voice range is getting deeper and it's cutting off some of the high notes, which I'm not a professional singer or anything, so that works for me. feel like there was something else I wanted to share, but I can't think of it, so I will end this video.